She looks like a new Player. Marina Sabalenka, and let's see what this match brings. Fifteen now. We're not going to have a lot of long rallies tonight, are we? <laughs> Mary Carrillo has the perfect term for it, big babe mm -hmm. tennis. Mm -hmm. That is what we will see tonight. Anton Dubrov sitting on the right there of the front row. Oh. Hitting partner that was, Arena elevated him to coach and the pairings worked well. Well done, Mary Keys. 15, 15. She plays well at the net, Madison Keys does. And what I really like to see, so did Arena Sabalenka. She has made an effort this tournament to be more at the net. And I think we already see what will transpire over the course of the next two hours. Who can get the first big hit in first? Let for service. Out 15, firing 14. two break points. Well, that has been, that's an extreme example of an improvement for Sabalenka with her second serve. During this U.S. Open, she's won 51% of her second serve points, and it's a big jump from even her number here last year. These players have looked fantastic on their serves throughout this tournament. So potentially a crucial game here right away. You can break big servers better early on, Ted, when they are still trying to find their rhythm, still looking for their rhythm. That's when you need to hit them first.
right, third try coming here. Advantage. Keys. And that has I, been a key for her, that return through the center of the court. Sometimes Madison likes to take too big risks and too low of a margin when she goes for her shots. And she's been directing many of her returns through the center of the court, giving her more room for error. And has been very successful with that return. Issue that Sabalenka has controlled much more this year. Bites her there, the double fault. <laughs> In his career. Low 15. And you talked about servers. Get him early. So Madison Keys has only dropped her serve twice in five rounds. Exactly. She's looked very good on her serve, especially when she can use her forehand after making a first serve. As such, I like when players <laughs> confirm <laughs> or give me examples, give, give visual examples to our viewers. Oof. 100 mile on, or 112 actually in the serve, but 89 on the winner. Yeah, when Madison can use that forehand from the center of the court with a oh. bit of time, she's absolutely ruthless on that shot. That's Bjorn for Tangelo. Oh. He's now serving his 30, 15. A coach for Madison, they're also engaged, and Bjorn is just finishing. He had a long career himself as a player. Madison Keys putting a stamp early on this match. Just much more, much calmer Sabalenka seems. Just has learned to deal with adversary best, better over the course of the last two years. Oh. to give neutral balls in the center of the court. By neutral, I mean balls that land in the other court with nothing on them. No spin, no rotation, no pace. That's when Madison Keys is best. Wow. Hey, that was a 92 mile an hour forehand winner. Followed by uh, Keys leads to putting games away to the good return of serve from Sabalenka, and so it is just that. That fascinating dynamic you talked about, Andrea. You're just fresh off the court for many, many years, and it's very similar to a, another American sport, baseball. They say really good pitcher, you have to get him in the first inning. Yeah, interesting. And it's so true with the, the big servers. And the exception I'll always hold out, particularly here, was Andy Roddick. What a great starter he was. There has to be an exception to the rule. <laughs> no. 
15 long. And this woman here, not too shabby either on her first shot after the surf, especially when the first one lands in. Whenever Arena Sabalenka can step inside the baseline, anything you drop short, she just pounces it right away. And just a million glasses broke somewhere <laughs> out <laughs> outside Athara Stadium. On this night, we call that a minor issue. <laughs> a really good example 14, of how Madison Keys has improved her game, especially from that backhand side. Madison Keys likes to go down the line, sometimes in the wrong moments, and now has opted more for a heavier ball, cross court, sometimes using that slice to disrupt the rhythm of the opponent, giving herself some time to attack the next ball. Turn winners for Keys. Seven winners in three games. Double faults, which facing a break point, you'll get a racket change. I, I'd be interested, Andrea, to sense the crowd here clearly was just so unanimously behind Coco Goff in the previous match. It's a little thinner later at night for this start. How much of that same support Madison Keys gets? Well, I think we can hear it already, especially with that start to the match, right? Madison Key, seven winners. I had matches where I didn't hit seven winners in the entire match. Oh, a miss there and a double break to start. Game key. And there, the, you're right, there is a little lift in the crowd after that start for Keys. First save. Will be their second Major final appearance, Coco Goff has already won, and at 19 is in her second <laughs> career final. 15 long. 
And interesting, right? All four semi-finalists today had been in a major final before. Oh. Kind of nice for women's tennis, isn't it? Exactly. I'm glad you said it, Ted. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Another prize that if Madison Keys can win this match, she would get back to 10 in the world to be in the top 10. And oh. after a lengthy career, her 12th U.S. Open, that would be a nice achievement. Could this play a difference, Andrea? Look at that. I just went away. The clock at the top. There is a significant difference in second serve speeds between these two. Is that potentially significant? Well, anything that is short, especially with Zabalenka, she does have those big swings on both her ground strokes. So if she has time. If she has time, she really put so much pressure on you and has so much pace to penetrate the court with that it's so hard for Madison to play her game. And her game is actually quite similar to Sabalenka's, just that she wants to use her forehand, right? Sabalenka can hurt you off both wings and Keys needs to use her forehand. One answer to the question, 66 mile an hour. And a miss return. There's a lot of tension in Arena Sabalenka right uh, yes, now. Exactly. A lot of tension that she is relieving on her team. Good job in taking a deep breath. It's just uh, sometimes you have these moments where you just feel extremely anxious and nervous and, and manifests in this tension. I, I'm so glad you said that because I was uh, thinking uh, this. Geez. The last two matches I've watched Sabalenka play, she has been so free, and she doesn't look free right now. And it's, to me, a little bit like watching Shiantek the other night against Ostapenko, when she looked very uptight in the deciding set. point and actually sprinting yes. and running and sweating can get some of that tension out so 
I think a thing to do for Sabalenka right now is to move her feet as much as she can, really put a lot of intensity into her ground stroke. She always does, but try and do even more and just move that tension out of your body. The last three, four points looked better. understand what Vertangelo and Keys are saying. We need Google Translate for it. That's going to be a sponsor for somebody's tennis broadcast soon. AI. <laughs> and Keys. So Keys saves two break points. Holds from 15-40. Keys leads four games to love, first set. Hey, just stay completely disciplined. Completely disciplined. We can hear Bjorn Fratangelo asking for discipline, and Madison Keys is doing a great job so far in playing very solid tennis. When she has the chance, she goes for it. But other than that, she has good depth, plays a lot of cross courts, and is letting Arena Sabalenka self-destruct right now. A quick reminder, you saw the uh, icons for the social media 15. apps. You can follow this championship weekend, all of the competitions, all the way through. Join the hashtag US Open. That was a great option here, serving into the body. If you play a player like Madison Keys, who has, takes big swings at returns, you can jam them by taking that freedom around their body away, hitting into them. You now we saw Arena doing the same thing again right here, attempting to do it. Not a lot she can do right no, now. That forehand, the key is sick. Madison is playing very, very well. Eighty-six miles an hour. That forehand, she is seeing the ball as big as a soccer ball right mm -hmm. now. Students in the classroom, raise your hand if you have leads Sabalenka five, dropping two, serve her first three games. Madison Keys playing absolutely her best tennis. A good balance between aggression and solidity, and Sabalenka dealing with a lot of tension right now. Four Love 15. Of measure. Sabalenka has played in seven major quarterfinals, the seventh one being last night. She's won all seven, has not lost a set, not one set in a major quarter. Oh. 
15 over. And to be so, I mean, to be perfect in major quarterfinals, Sabalenka, and then to have this happening is absolutely stunning. The 15 And a, a great measure of what you said, Andre, how Keys is playing. Good first serve. 15. And then using her forehand. And we see it here. Eight forehand winners to zero on Sabalenka's side. Madison Keys just determining everything that has to do with baseline rallies right now. 14, 15. Stunning, it seems like an understatement for that set. Six love keys. Sabalenka, it's her second second survey so far. I mean, it's just numbers that I'm sure have rarely, if ever, been in a, her match. Sabalenka won seven of her own service points in the first set. Seven. You mentioned it earlier in the match, Ted, that she had been just over 50% in her second serve percentage today. Under 40, only 36%. Oh. Please. Well, maybe Sabalenka's response there First will game, relieve the stress. Set. She threw, thrust both her arms up in the air <laughs> after holding served to get her first game. point Arina Sabalenka finally found the way to set up her strengths which are stepping inside the baseline and using her ground strokes 15 all and that is need some first serves now Thirty, fifteen. 
Oh. There was a very slow second serve again from Medas and Keys here. We heard Sabalenka complaining about the tension on her racket in the previous point, so here she has a new one. And Keys. All right. It's still fresh. It's Keys aces. One game on. Second set. The last time. Stay locked in. Expect her to raise the level, okay? So stay locked. Come on. Here we go, man. Come on, right here. Very good coaching here exactly. from Bian Fratangelo, yep. so good. Just making your player be aware that this will happen. Arena Sabalenka is not going to continue like she did in the first set. And just being ready for what is coming your way. I'm a little surprised that Sabalenka, the last time Sabalenka was bageled in a set, 13 months ago, San Jose, third set by Daria Kazakina. Completely different type of player. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, that was the first time I saw Madison Keys make a decision that was not the soundest of all possible decisions on the tennis court, going for it down the line on the full stretch there. Thirty fifteen. Did not see unreturned serves off the keys return in the first set. Time that return better there. The first one just jumped out of her strike zone on the same exact side. Just caught that one right before it jumped out of her strike zone. into this game. 
Я понимаю, давай сращи через солидность. Я знаю, что тяжело. Давай, не показывай. Камон. Давай, 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 камон, Рим. Telling you, Google Translate, there's an opportunity. Mm -hmm. yeah. That was so well played, and we see how early she takes the ball just after it jumps, and that gives her the opportunity to redirect the ball in this manner. And the perfect technique on the Ooh. forehand as well. That always helps. Oh, that's out. And from a 40, 40-15, I believe it was game. Two games to one. Second set. Keys break no, set again. Fifteen low. It's a very perceptive point, Andrea, that this snap, I mean, she just snapped at Sabalenka, that it could have a positive. It was much better played with more spin, took a bit off those shots, and it just happened to be a winner. She didn't go for the winner. And Madison Keys continues to do a good job in just keeping her head down and doing her job. That's 15, 15. A better omen for Sabalenka. Keys is serving 73%. I mean, everything's, everything's favored her so far. But. Now, 15 photos. Are you, are you a prophet? <laughs> I mean, here's exactly what she, Sabalenka, needs. Well, an interesting Sabalenka took a few steps back on that second serve. Maddie's second serves are not very fast, but they do jump high. And 30, Sabalenka 40. just trying to give herself more space and room to set up for her shots. it again how far she's behind in the second serve <laughs> the problem with that return position is that you open yes. up space for your opponent to hit winners into especially with Madison Key's forehand where she can create angles so you have to find good depth mm -hmm. if you do decide to go further behind the baseline to push, push your opponent back behind the baseline as well. Ah! And she did perfectly there. Ah, advantage. Found the depth. So now there's, here's the chess match. Does she stay back? Came in and 
Took a big swing at that, and Sabalenka breaks Two back. Two games old. Second set. 91 on the return. <laughs> Winner for Sabalenka, usopen.org, your online home for live scoring, highlights, real-time stats and draws all through this final championship weekend. The official tournament site, usopen.org. the longest point, 16 15. shots. What a point here from both players. This was incredible pace and depth found on the ground strokes. And Madison Keys comes out on top of it. that backhand down the line. You have to close that down. You have to take it away fitting. from her. You can see Sabalenka doing so and then kind of moving to the left side. Not fully committing. Serve you talked about early in the match. Straight breaks and Keys regains the lead. Keys leads three games to two, second set. And by one set to one. Every chance to get there a second time. Oh. And who could have ever thought Arena Sabalenka, one of the biggest servers in the sport? She has served six times tonight and held her serve once. And Madison Keys has played a really, really good match so far. Just now her last service game and this first point too. A bit passive on her serve. And that is much better whenever she can find her forehand after the serve is when she's strongest, so she needs to serve in a manner that she can set up for that shot. A couple of service games, Keys is not serving the fastball. She's been putting a lot of 100 mile an hour or so serves in.
30 on. And we've talked about this before, Ted. Sabalenka choosing to go further behind the baseline rather than going, getting closer to the baseline. And she's having the opportunity on those matters and key second serves who have landed into the court between 65 and 70 miles an hour. 14, 15. So this is a strong indication for her not seeing the ball as well as she has in the previous matches. When you feel rushed, you want to give yourself more room and space to make decisions, so you tend to back up. Yes. Key's ball must have hit the baseline the way advantage. Sabalenka Keys. looked. Yeah, very good depth on that backhand. And just pay close attention to Madison Key's wrist right before she hits that serve. It's so nice and loose. And that's how she gets that kick mm -hmm. on her serve that jumps off when it bounces on the other. Oh. It's really, really beautiful how she does that. What's interesting is in the press after beating Vondrosova here last night, he said that Bjorn has urged her to go for more on her serve. I think she got to 121, she said last night. I haven't seen a lot of that in this match. Oh! Well, I, and I do think that you do not want to play too many second serves against Arena Sabalenka. Oh. So I assume her game plan was to make a lot of first serves. But I agree with you, Ted. Every now and then you have to let one fire out. If only to intimidate the opponent or just show mm -hmm. what you're capable of. Sabalenka missing. And Keys. Keys the 4 2. Second set. Rodney Marshall, of course, who's been the constant. Imagine him with all of the. With the different coaches. For Madison through the years, Rodney Marshall of fitness on, sitting there on the, the Let's go. right side of the lower of the first row has been the constant. And we heard it from Bjorn here. Fifteen every long. return into the court. So again, the, those center central. Yeah. Aimed, centrally aimed returns from Madison Keys have been so crucial this entire tournament for her, just making so many more of those. And that is so well handled by Arena Sabalenka, but Madison Keys gives herself the opportunity to find the way into the rally, and I think that has been the biggest progression in her game, no matter what happens tonight. 
is that she keeps giving herself the opportunity to find a way into the rallies. Oh. And Brett Gilbert should maybe watch the match instead of texting. Is that who that is? <laughs> He's uh, replying oh. to all the congratulatory <laughs> messages. Wow. Sabalenka. Well, can't break Sabalenka every game. She holds it love, but this match now in Kiesley's control. Second set, and by one set to love. Very clear, if she holds her serve twice, she's in the final. Fifteen love. A sparkler. 30 long. Great precise serving by Madison Keys. In this game, 40 long. she doesn't need that much pace because she's serving so precisely today. Very close to the lines, good spots, very consistent. For service. Fourteen, fifteen. Oh, she went for a little yes. bit more there. Under a one oh seven. Keys leads five games to three. Yeah, they let people seven. sneak down from up top, I see. Lenient. Well, <laughs> quarterfinals at Wimbledon. What, about eight weeks ago, Sabalenka won decidedly over Madison Keys. The next match, Sabalenka is up a set and 4 2 in the semis on Own Jabor and doesn't win. And that's building to what she was referencing in her snap earlier. Well, and I really loved what Madison Keyes said in her interview before she walked out on court where she said, I felt a little bit overwhelmed by the pace of Arina Zabalenka's ground strokes, and I don't want that to happen again. And I think that experience helped her to be this rushed and to know I have to control the rallies, otherwise I will be rushed by Arina Zabalenka's power.
15 all. Yeah, there was some infliction of pace in this serve, 118 miles per hour here. Mm. Yeah, her fastest of the night. So, this will come down to Madison Keys. Keys leads five games to four. And her chance second to reach a second career U.S. Open final. That Coco Goff heard a couple of hours ago. Trying to set up an all-American final. Zabalenka going after that Madison Keys backhand over and over again. Found some much needed discipline in this point here. Second double fall. Best game of the match. Absolutely. You could. Every return here, make her play. Four hands line whenever possible. Come on. Here we go. You, got this Let's go. you live here right now. You live here right now. Come on. Here we go. Everything's fine. Come on. You got this, Let's go, You're absolutely right, Ted. Sabalenka here. You could just see her muscles loosening up, right? Becoming smoother. Her movements just more cat like again flowing over the court. And Madison Keys hit a few good serves, but Sabalenka was, was just there. She's seeing the ball much better than she has for the past set and a half. A new balls in play now in this game. Sabalenka's sixth ace.
Fortino. The first scene, uh, the first time we've seen the real Sabalenka tonight, just in time. He played two brilliant games. Those are the simple patterns she would have wanted when she was serving for it at 5-4. The wide serve into the open corner. Textbook tennis, TBT. It just seems like Arena Sabalenka cannot miss a ball anymore unless Madison Key somehow forces her to do so. A completely different player on the court with us right now. Set points. serves when she needed it most, Madison Keys. Can she wiggle her way out of this one? Oh, and she does. Keys put together four serves to push back into a tiebreak. Tie break. Seven point tie break. And Give now, Keys another chance to finish. And now the question will be will there be any remnants of the first set and a half in Arena Sabalenka's game? Yeah. Or has she put that past her? Has she completely forgotten what has happened in the first set and a half?
to one. Savalenka. Not the most comfortable place for Keys to be. Yeah, that was a big opportunity. Yes. And Sabalenka now at 4-1. 4-1. Well, this is what we spoke about earlier. This. Nope. New York crowd is trying, but right now it is Sabalenka on the verge of pushing this to a third. Find even better tennis than she has already played to turn this around. Sabalenka has gone from a player that was missing to, this is the last four games, a player that can't miss. And that you didn't see coming either. What a turnaround. Third set Seven coming. Seven games to six, one set over. At the last moment, save herself to force this deciding set. In tennis, it's sometimes the chicken and the egg phenomenon, right? You always see the, not always, but oftentimes you see it's a combination of things. In the first set, Madison Keys was playing her best tennis. Arena Sabalenka was struggling with tension in her entire body. And all of the sudden, when Arena Sabalenka starts to loosen up, Madison Keys has a drop off in her game. Now the question will be can both players find their best tennis at the same time? The injury bothering her, or if she's starting to become a bit fatigued, but that was not precise enough footwork on that forehand. She stood way too close to the ball. The ball was not quick. She had the time to move around. Hopefully it has nothing to do with her physical state. Thirty. Again, the same. 
just not quick enough around the ball and doesn't create enough space to swing fully through. And the way her technique is on the forehand, she needs to have room around her body to swing through. Fully committed. Oh. Sabalenka gets to see just the margin of miss. More to the point we talked about in the second set, Keys put a little more pop on that first if she's feeling that lag and if she is or if she's a bit fatigued she needs to do that more now and Keith yeah that's a huge hold first especially game, final save. having to save a break point Of the second set, she had one service game where she looked absolutely flawless, very Sabalenka esque, and that's where everything seemed to turn around. For service. That was 3 5, wasn't it? Yeah. Serving a 3 5, and then Keys served for the match, and Sabalenka broke. Fifteen long. Thirteen long. On her serve now. Third most aces on the, the tour this year. Eight, for service. Eight tonight for Sabalenka. Nine in her first round was her highest total. Oh, it's fine with a chip return. Very short into the court by Madison Keys. She needs to find new ways to disrupt the rhythm of her opponent. Marina Sabalenka has looked very strong for the past four or five games. Ooh, two misses. Tennis is a constant game of adaptation. You need to constantly readjust, readjust your game plans, your ground strokes, what is working, what is not working. And at the same time, your opponent is doing exactly the same thing. So adaptability really important in this sport of tennis. Wow. 
Wow. Game hey, seven. Big serve down the middle and Sabalenka no holds. Final set. Winner will play for the second time in their career for a major title. Coco Goff will be the opponent. It will be her second major final. Love 15. And I really think Coco's team is very much hoping for Madison Keys to go through this, not because Madison is not as good of a player as Arena Sabalenka, but if Sabalenka can overcome this obstacle and this bad of a set that she has played today, I really don't see much stopping her. That is an incredible confidence boost yeah. if you can overcome playing the worst tennis of this tournament in the stage that you have fallen in so many times before, right? This will be something to keep in the back of your head. Well, those who biblical scholars would say that Sabalenka tonight is trying to 15, be Lazarus. 15. Exactly. Because she was out. Drop shot and applause from Marina Sabalenka. 40 15. And I do think Madison Keys feels that she needs to do something extra, something a bit different. She brought in Arena Sabalenka twice already with short balls. Smart play here by the American. Gorgeous change off Keys the backhand wing, so better set. look for Keys in the her first two service games of this final set. Work so it's a little bit more of the later night crowd. Fifteen long, and they've seen two very good semifinals. The first one, Coco Goff winning. We also had the. Uh, Unprecedented 49-minute stoppage for protesters in the second tier of the stadium. Thirty long. The first match, Karolina Mukova was kind of pushed around in the first set. She came back and made the second set very good. Goff prevailed. And in this match, Sabalenka was able to find a way to save herself and get to this deciding set. for Madison Keys in the past, I want to say 30, 40 minutes to find openings in Arena Sabalenka service games. And then again, that little short slice. 40, Before 15. the service line. Extracts an unforced error, see, uh, unforced error here. Two 
two games over, final set. Andrea, though, that you point out a, a big turn in this match against Sabalenka was broken. Five of her first six service games in this match, nothing close to a break since. U.S. Open available through conversation on all the social media sites. The hashtag U.S. Open to join the conversation. Oh. Hands here by Arena Sabalenka. Low 15. Good reaction. <laughs> they know that it's now or never. I'm giving energy to that player. Keys must feel what we're talking know. about. Mm -hmm. It would increase, you would think, the pressure on her service games. Here we go. Come on, come on, come on. I do think it would increase pressure even more if Arena felt comfortable enough to take that second serve a bit earlier. Rhythm again by Madison Keys. Good, Good middle serve, 106. Keys with an easy hole. That's yeah, optimism for three, three, three games to two. Her team. Final set. As we turn the corner in this deciding set. been a nice rebound by Keys, hasn't it? Very nice. <laughs> Serve for the match. Broken at love. Keys 
did get to the tie break, lost that seven to one. So two kind of gut shots. Mm. And she's come back here at the start of the third. And I really think this was an amazing sign she sent, a message she sent to Sabalenka. I'm still in this, I still believe, because I think we all expected the third set to lean very quickly towards Arena Sabalenka. Oh. And Keys just managed to hold on, just to claw onto this. First service game in a while. And Sabalenka is going to feel some pressure. into this match have imprinted. Nice little opening here for her. Fifteen hits. The weapon for Sabalenka. Break of the third set. He's leads four games to two. And Final new set. life from her team. Yeah. And from Allie Love. <laughs> if you're uh, not a Peloton I know her. customer, yes, <laughs> I am too. And so you would you know, know Allie. Oh, absolutely. Allie Love is a prominent. I love Instructor on Peloton. He's my favorite. New tennis balls at 4 2 in the final set. No. 15 more. And some of the nervousness creeping back into Arena Sabalenka's body language. Continued discussions with her camp. able to take that a more. bit early and take more time away from Madison Keys. I do think that now that she's found her rhythm on her ground strokes and is seeing the ball better, she should try and take the ball a bit earlier on those second serves if she wants to break back. Fifteen fifty.
shorter ball, and Sabalenka pounced. 15 full And the reason the ball was shorter is because Sabalenka changed up her rotation, found more height above the net, more depth through it, and extracted the short ball that she could pounce. Oh. Oh. Keys leads four games with three. Well, the lead seven. does not last long. Sabalenka pushing back. All right, now Sabalenka back up. Having answered oh. by breaking back. I can't imagine Sabalenka would have, and her team would have ever thought she'd drop serve six times and still be in the match. And she's used to the double fault thing too. She's among the leaders in the tour in that category. But this year it's been reduced. And just a few, too many backhands landing in the net of Madison Keys. She did such a beautiful job in the first set and a half to find good height above the net on that ground stroke. That just is naturally a bit flatter than her forehand. Much better. The second band, backhand just mm -hmm. grazed the net, but then she adjusted nicely. Such marvelous defense. 30. And then that uh, tough one missing the drop shot wide. Short slices. I know I keep repeating myself, but I saw yes. Sabalenka lose to Mukhova twice this year. 14. And both times those slices decided the match. So I know it's not Madison Key's natural game, but if she feels that this is working, she can use it as a disruption of rhythm, as a way of bringing Sabalenka away from her favorite part of the court, which is just around the baseline and inside the baseline.
Deuce. Nice passion here from Arena Sabalenka. And Madison Keys just didn't do enough with that yeah. serve. She had an opportunity yeah. there. And Andrea, that's the, something we talked about earlier, whereas Keys' second serves are in the 70s. That was 97 from Sabalenka. is a tough cookie, this Arena Sabalenka. Boy. This is some clutch play under pressure. Well played by Madison Keys to neutralize that big serve, 114 miles per hour. But Arena Sabalenka just proves So two save by Sabalenka, and we're four all. Four games old, final save. And, and again, Sabalenka seems to play her best, as you said, Andrea, on the points where she's right on the edge. She really did in this game. And what a quick adjustment she made to those short slices that Madison Keys rightfully played because she was missing those Arena Sabalenka, but just found her rhythm on them when she needed it most. And now it's real North danger East. zone for yes, Madison Keys. Now the lost opportunities, she has to shake off and hold a four all game. Brushed the outside of the line. And put the. Uh, there it is. That's why the term millimeter has become known in the tennis world. Thirteen, fifteen. Thirty-one. 
good match to watch right now. Madison key serve, keeping her in this one. Really good serving from her. He stayed away from second serves in that game. And yep, the the crescendo is building. Final serve. Fifteen no. And during that changeover, I'm thinking Madison Key's serve is keeping her in, as you said, Andrea. Could she possibly break to win the match against a Prolific server. Fifteen on. Whom Keys has broken six times tonight. She can. She will need to be very disciplined. Try to aim her returns over the center of the court. Find some depth and then attack with the forehand when she has the opportunity to do so. And she will need a bit of help 30, from Arina Sabalenka, who has been clutch under pressure today. Fourteen, fifteen. Five games all. Final set. Five all final set, everything is so even and as we suspected. Find your forehand. Find your forehand. In the quarterfinal they played in Wimbledon, there were a total of two points in the match that were over nine shots. They've stretched it tonight. Five <laughs> out of 184 points. <laughs> five have been nine shots or more. We just heard Bjorn Fratangelo say to Madison Keys, find your forehand, find your forehand. And boy, did she find her forehand on this first point. Those higher forehands just going awry for Sabalenka in the past three games or so. And Madison manages to get a bit of rotation and height over that side. Oh. 
for 250. Here we go, Maddie. Come on. Accelerate the hand. Come on. Accelerate your hand. Let's go, Maddie. Geez, that's Jeez. a nice hold. Well, catch your Jeez, last please. breath here and come Congress back in a minute there. for the finish. follow through on the backhand side. She does so beautifully on the forehand. Well, that's at least three seconds of aces tonight. 11 total. It's the most for Sabalenka in a match during this U.S. Open. Damn. So indeed it was our destiny, Andrea. <laughs> Six games old. With all the plot twists. Dramatic one thrown at us by Sabalenka. Ladies and gentlemen, a 10-point tiebreak will now be played to decide the match. Thank you, Jean. That's exactly right. It is the 10-point match tiebreak. And I do think this match deserves this. After a lot of ups and downs, Thank you. both women finally found their best tennis at the same time. And we are ready. Oh. Sabalenka wow. there just punishing Sabalenka. the second serve. That return. Four zero. 
It has not Sabalenka. been her best match, Arena Sabalenka's, but she sure has been clutch under pressure. Oh. Sabalenka in the court, Five, dictating. Two. Right here. Come on. Sabalenka. Yeah, whenever she finds herself inside the baseline, that's where she is absolutely ruthless. First service. Play by Sabalenka Five, surprise you? Three. Sabalenka. Yeah. You think she could have done more with it? Well, probably has to hit a winner, right? You're going to run around? Yeah. True, but this serve was a bit quicker than mm -hmm. what Maddie's normally did on her second serve. Oh. So maybe it just took her a bit by surprise and... She couldn't fully commit on that one. Oh, Sabalenka fully into that. Smothers the return. Six, three. Yeah, Again, that, takes control. Sabalenka. Yeah, that was just seven miles per hour slower from Madison Keys and just enough time for Sabalenka to set up for her big swing. Fire that return down the line. Just so good. She's starting to feel it an hour, hour but and a half ago. She was talking about the semifinal. She thought, did she think it was it? She thought. She didn't realize. She thought it was it. Wow. Okay. So again, a reminder for everybody, 10 points in the match tie break. Oh, wow. 
Wow. What a pick up by Sabalenka. Eight, three. Sabalenka. She is just so good. I can just repeat myself. Wow. To be this brave after playing a terrible first set, not feeling your ground strokes, and just going for it and making your shots. To show Sabalenka. that she came to play too, and boy, did she play the first set and a half. Some of the best tennis we've seen her play, but it's still match point. And that is it for Arena Sabalenka. A memorable. Turnaround victory and her first U.S. Open final. That is slaying a demon for Sabalenka. The semifinal hurdle 